Hello guys, thank you for joining me again in a tree video journey. Uh, we starting today by uh, having a look inside the box of uh, French Armour car AMD 35-1940. It's a co-production between uh, Tamiya models from Japan and ICM from uh, Ukraine. The plastic parts for the model are uh, provided by ICM. The boxing instructions and uh, detailing are provided by Tamiya. This fact is uh, revealed by uh, the writing on the box right there in the corner military collection series number E11 so we don't have a um, military miniatures number but a military collection series it's not the first time Tamiya working tandem with uh, another company uh, they also rebox uh, Italy models I find this um, quite good perhaps you enjoy the best of two worlds Tamiya are renowned for um, their clarity and layout of their uh, instructions so I'm happy I have this version of, uh, of the kit uh, let's go uh, for short description of the features of this kit we're going to go over it one thing I want to um, point right now you have here a wealth of accessories is included well the wealth of accessories are actually the two barrels uh, three uh, wooden uh, boxes and uh, one spare hel uh, helmet uh, the other helmet is uh, so the kit provides two helmets we don't this right away uh, the other one is uh, for the driver let's have a look around the box so the main marking uh, options and the one that i'm going to uh, build it myself i'm going to talk about my choice at the end this is a complete model looks so good artistic rendering the name is very indicative for the content of the box so we have the french armor car amd 35 1940 uh, which which gives you already a good information about uh, what you should expect in the box so um, the main uh, french marking but even as a capture vehicle pressed in the into the service by um, by germans perhaps it shouldn't be panzer grau so even the one used by Germans apparently they were painted in um, French olive drab. Let's move forward and open the box. So the contents are as following. The instruction book. Right now I'm going to move to it. Right. One olive plastic sprue with uh, Tamiya. That's the only Tamiya addition besides the instruction manual and this is the icm part in icm style that i don't particularly like all, all packed together and as you can see this screw is already bent so i, I should expect some uh, warping or some breakage or whatever we won't be the first time it happened to me and a uh, small decal sheet but let's get them one by one so I'm going to start as my habit is with the uh, instructions because it gives you a comprehensive view of uh, what you should expect from this build how difficult and how detailed it's going to be first page is a short historical description if you want of the model with the technical characteristics it looks like this Panhard uh, AMD 35 was quite a potent vehicle by the way AMD 35 AMD stands for uh, Auto Mitrailleuse uh, de Découverte, which in a loose translation is uh, Machine Gun uh, Carrier uh, for Reconnaissance. But as you can see, it has a 20 millimeter gun as well. Uh, the top speed was uh, impressive 72 kilometers an hour, which was good, quite good. All um, wheel drive. And as you're going to see in the instruction, I never knew that before. It can be uh, driven from, from both ends. It has a driver in both ends. This is um, quite interesting. I, I was not aware. It's true, I'm not a specialist in, in French armor vehicles. Let's move uh, forward. Well, uh, I'm going to point out right now one of the things that I feel Tamiya is lacking. And that is the presence of uh, sprue layout. 
it's always uh, useful and now we have um, all these caution that they are pretty much unnecessary uh, then uh, a list with the paint used with the references to um, Tamiya paints but you have the color description so it's easy to use another brand or to, to do your own mix I always do my own mix most of the time I do my own mix the tools required the basic tools required to complete the, um, the model other information and the step one already on page number two which uh, comprises the attachment of the floor to the uh, bottom you have to remove some uh, detail from the bottom plate from the floor pan step number two attach the uh, inside walls and uh, some interior detail I see them put in, into this kit uh, quite a uh, nice detail as, as, as they usually do I like it very much as you can see you have a full uh, engine it's not fully detailed but it's an excellent uh, base for uh, whoever wants to uh, add more detail and make the uh, engine compartment open then as I, I was telling you two steering wheels one for, for front one for uh, back step number five attachment of those uh, steering wheels then moving to step number six which is uh, more adding more uh, internal detail uh, ammunition cases and uh, detailing of the side panels uh, the interior is painting is in three colors actually you have the interior white you have the uh, hull red that which is primary red and uh, you have as well the French oil draft step number seven put those uh, panels together and move to the then step number eight with the completion of the hull on the on the front part step number step number nine the rear of the hull with the engine and the top the last hatches so with step number nine you already have completed the superior part of the vehicle then moving to the with step 10 to the inferior part with fenders suspension elements transmission drive and, and such step number 12 is completing the transmission very well detailed very nicely detailed in, in the instructions step number 13 how the uh, wheels come and their uh, attachment to the uh, running train exterior detail afterwards so with, with mufflers and pioneer tools more exterior detail handles the rear deck engines can be depicted the hatches for the engine uh, can be depicted open or closed again you have a side view Tamiya is excellent in this point of um, view they won't let nothing at your guess they just offer you the uh, right information when you need it so it has to be appreciated I like it uh, detailing of the uh, doors attaching of the doors so it's quite quite detailed very nice we're going to go to the school right now very nicely detailed kit by ICM the machine guns and the turret eventually with step number 20 more detail the, the chairs for the uh, tank commander and the loader the hatch for the commander and the last step is the attachment with the mirror with the mirror and uh, step number 23 is the attachment of the rear mirror and the turret to the body the, the last the few last uh, external details so very clear for what i can say now and looking good and good looking looking with much interest to start building this uh, model and uh, step 24 i intentionally laid it apart uh, is is dealing with the uh, tamiya sprue basically assembling the uh, torso and the head of the french driver i'm going to leave it apart but for me at least i intend to do uh, in, in some future some romanian army uh, armored vehicles and the hadrian uh, helmets that we funded in Tamiya kit then this one was used by uh, Romanians as well so is uh, very useful uh, actually now the kit comes with three painting uh, schemes a general one yeah and French army unit on France June 1940 the, the only mean of identification is a license plate number then the scheme number two which is a uh, third light mechanized di uh, division the one uh, I'm going to do it uh, yes, he has the symbol of the di division. Per perhaps this is the sign of the squadron. Small diamond there. But what attracted me to this? Later on, I'm going to tell as much as I can. The uh, my choice on uh, painting scheme. This number 27, very calligraphic. 
very nice and a captured vehicle the sporting oversized national insignia but they keep the color olive drop could be that there were exceptions but it makes it makes perfect sense so let's give uh, credit to time yeah, usually they study pretty pretty well their subjects and um, yeah i prefer to give them credit anyhow my choice of marking choice b third light mechanized french division let's finish the time items in this box so you have this uh, wealth of uh, details as you perhaps can see here yes you can see it. this uh, sprue was uh, issued perhaps for the first time in uh, 2007 so we got fuel bottles quite nice I don't know if this is French or not this is uh, not specific to the German well the um, roll up tarpaulins that they are a common sight on, on, on many vehicles traditional Tamiya figures with the split head and then the helmet added very nice uh, wooden detail on these boxes and very inspired the attachment points you can see so if you cut them it's very easy to clean the uh, attachment points they're going to look very good after assembly my uh, previous experience with Tamiya bottles is quite bad but let's see they, let's hope they uh, improve their uh, molding and no sign of flush whatsoever very well Tamiya quality is, is well known crisp detail very well done very good plastic easy to work with very responsive to uh, to, to the glue and the last Tamiya item in this box military collection number 11 is a small uh, decoction nicely protected they are printed by uh, Tamiya oh, the registry is perfect the white looks very good the carrier film is reasonably small and is not glossy usually uh, Tamiya film Tamiya decal film it's a little bit in a thick side so it leaves you with raised surfaces that dry brushing they're going to pick them up and clear coating is not helping too much but seems to be the case again but let's see how it's going to work I don't want to speak too early they stick good but they are just just a bit in, in a thick side now let's move to the main CM offering again look, look how this is bent I really don't like it So ICM has to do something about the packaging, that's a shame, because they do have very, very nice filigrane plastic parts, basically this, as we perhaps you noticed already, uh, this kit has no photo edge part, with good reason, because uh, ICM does very, very nice plastic parts so basically they don't need any additional uh, detailing so yes as I told you this part it's already loose well not big drama so let's move to the and check the screw some other parts are twisted by the by the poor quality of packaging let's try to get the uh, sprues in order so that is the sprue A has engine parts some interior parts perhaps those are um, mud boards very nice rivet detail very very nice it has to be uh, pointed out yes you can see it so a beautiful surface detail i see a very very tiny sink mark in here but no flash whatsoever never see too much flash on this uh, ICM kits and the fit usually is perfect. It fits with the tape, so uh, I like it. The, the layout is quite simple. It looks like ICM changed a little bit their engineering after um, so many complaints about over engineering. And look now, the suspension comes like one piece with the sides of the engine. It's far less complicated than it used to be on uh, on the ICM kits. It's okay, I guess. You have very nice detail on, on, on both sides some interior detail here so it looks good the um, ejection pin mark most of them for what i can tell now before assembly seem to be out of the way maybe except this one but for sure those are going to be masked by the um, inside the uh, engine room is looking good
group B again beautifully molded with the uh, floorboard another example of, of what I was uh, saying just before you see the this front plate comes molded already with the uh, fenders the uh, engine deck it comes already molded with the uh, grill in position so uh, it's, it's a simplified uh, ICM if you want the separation the firewall has already <clears throat> half of the um, fan in place many many details molded together I can't say if it's good or bad but they look good very crisp okay moving now to sprue C which is uh, dedicated to small details as you can see the fan from the um, engine room cylinder heads transmission parts small hatches transmission belts and so on grip handles mirror the uh, 25 millimeter uh, anti-tank cannon it comes in two holes and ICM find the expedient here to uh, side molding by uh, following the uh, tip well everything depends on fit let's see let's hope it's not going to be too bent too difficult to uh, put in the correct position as you can see this screw is really warped and look this machine gun here coaxial co -action machine gun is in a quite poor condition some liquid group perhaps will help me to straighten this barrel out but i see him when are you going to do something about that or uh, maybe tamia since it comes in a tamia boxing maybe you should pay more attention to this kind of uh, detail well, unfortunately most of the parts are in uh, perfect condition so those are uh, minor issues for the moderate experience modeler so nothing to brag too much about it you can see how nice the small detail in styrene very nice detail on, on the inside of the parts that can be picked out by uh, painting now i'm very happy with the level of uh, detail and i'm sure it's going to be a very nice build i'm not going to display any hatch open maybe the uh, commander's hatch but i'm going to build it as i would because this kit was sent to me by armorama for a review so i want to explore all the possibilities for uh, whoever in is interested in modeling uh, this kit uh, to have a um, better idea of uh, what can be obtained uh, regarding the painting and the assembly i'm going to uh, follow all the steps from the instruction manual so the build is going to be complete although not all of my work is going to be visible at the end i usually do that just for the uh, sake of it nobody sees it but i know now sprue e the last styrene sprue again slight damage here from the poor boxing but again nothing not too much damage that is not going to be visible whatsoever behind the wheel so and find very nice again very nice detail on these parts i'm not sure about accuracy at all i'm not a specialist in a french armor car but they look good so with some um, washes and dry brushing it's going to look spectacular i'm sure of it okay, another item <coughs> coming in the box that we need to have a look at it's those tires Detailing on them is quite good. ICM found uh, again a very interesting uh, solution to the mold line, that the parting line that usually appears. So they injected from one side the rib is here, so it's going to be nicely masked at the at the back of the wheel. So, uh, it's not going to be seen that much. Not too much detail on the side. The ribs are, are, are good, but no branding or something. This is a um, this is characteristic for both Tami and ICM, uh, the simplicity of their wheels. Uh, I don't know if it's a patent infringement issue or uh, just lack of interest. Both ICM and, and uh, Tami, uh, they never offer a full detail on, the, on their tires. They are hollow tires, but they are still quite sort of stiff so if you want to to achieve that bulging you really have to add some uh, weight to your model but it's malleable enough if you want to weight it you need a good amount of lead well the last thing i want to address here is the uh, my choice of markings this build is going to be part of a group build on uh, Armorama, Armored Max campaign which i completed already with uh, my adgz build but i want to uh, participated the second one uh, it looks like uh, the campaign is going very well I'm actually I'm the second one 
to join the second build and uh, by coincidence uh, the other guy that is doing uh, a second build is doing the same um, Panhard but he chose a tricolor scheme which is very nice and initially I wanted to do a Panzer Grau um, vehicle, a capture vehicle just to fulfill the, the name of my channel but uh, then reading the painting instructions I did realize that in 1940 there you go. In 1940, even if deployed uh, by uh, Wehrmacht, those vehicles they keep their uh, green livery, French khaki livery. So then I said, well, since I'm doing a green vehicle, let me do the main uh, marking scheme, uh, the one that is reproduced on the uh, art box as well. Uh, it looks attractive enough. I do like this. Uh, numeral here and um, I guess it served best the interest of uh, this build review. I wish I thank um, Tamiya America for sending this uh, kit for review to um, Kitmaker uh, Network and from then to uh, Darren Baker and uh, Jim Starkweather to send it down to me. So I, I promise I'm going to do uh, as good as my skill uh, allows build. Thank you very much for your attention. Please uh, subscribe if you want to see um, the following episodes of this build. Second episode will be dedicated to the build itself. And the third one is going to be uh, dedicated as usual to uh, painting and uh, weathering. Thank you for your attention guys and see you in the next episode.